everything to the best of our abilities everything and if we're working we do it better than anybody else if you just ask us and if we're partying we do it better than anybody else and if we're walking down the street we do it better than anybody else or we're doing your mom yes. we're doing it better, better, than, better than, anybody than anybody else, else. <laughs> tripwire has been in business since 2005 and we've trained over 8600 first responders in the united states when i was growing up i uh, experimented with um a variety of chemical concoctions in the backyard. In fact, I uh, set the backyard on fire with my sister there one day. I was a law enforcement officer and uh, I got bored. The opportunity to go to Hazardous Devices School arose and I took it. I found my passion there. My name is Joshua Mills and I'm an explosive ordnance disposal technician. I've been all over the world. I've operated in Afghanistan twice, Southwest Asia, Africa. I don't give a shit. Don't, <laughs> if I don't like you, I'm going to tell you about it. And if it hurts your feelings, <laughs> that's just how it is. The person I love to give the most shit is uh, probably Ryan. <laughs> now our plan is went to shit. We had a big plan, we get on scene. I'm pretty much the guy, like, I will take my ball and go home. If I'm not happy, everyone's night will suck. Dick, dick, dick. My name's Pete Jones, and I'm an explosive specialist. There's a lot of sarcasm. <laughs> Josh is just the lovable. Kind of teddy bear. He's always the life of the party, the Chris Farley of the group. Oh, I love him to death. <laughs> I'm tied into Tripwire because of Ryan. We became instant friends because of the smart aleck remarks we'd throw back to everybody else. I drive a Hummer. Give me a break. Come on. I'm obviously compensating for something. I was uh, deployed to Iraq and I was there for six months and 12 days. We were in many, many firefights. We were all bomb techs. I've been around the world, I've met bomb techs around the world, and we're all the same kind of nerd. And we all get along uh, because of that. United 93, do you still hear Cleveland? United 93, United 93, do you hear Cleveland? Flight 93, September 11th, that pretty much changed my whole aspect on law enforcement, the direction I wanted to go in, and I was there. No piece of wreckage was larger than a telephone book. We began the forensic identification of the specimens, as we called them, from the crash site. Like Todd Beamer, we found his femur, um, and he was a guy, let's roll, um, and I know I held his femur in my hand. I mean, it puts a connection there that you don't forget. Um, so from that point forward, um, uh, you know, I, I wanted to be more part of, of uh, helping to stop something like that. I spent a month and a half there, and that, that um, a bomb technician walks into an ambush on purpose. The bomber has selected the time and the location, and has the the moment of his choosing to try to kill you, and yet you have to now try to figure all that out and undo it. We got called out to uh, go to a record store in Afghanistan. And these kids just wanted to buy music, which the Taliban absolutely forbids. And so somebody put a large bag of potassium chlorate in a cell phone next to the music store, and they killed them. They killed them all. We decided that we were going to um, pay tribute to first responders and uh, military folks. Ryan and I happened to talk about this, and he goes, let's do it. That's how Bravo Zulu Brewing really, really started. We plan on doing five beers here, five uh, craft beers, and they'll all be top shelf. 
Whenever we do anything, we try to do it to the best of our ability, and we couldn't think of a better way to do it than to do what we do best, and that's drink beer and have fun. We are not beer connoisseurs. We're just very good at drinking. Life in the fast lane. Dude, you're such a dick. <laughs> this will be the loudest shot of the day. Do not step on this. Uh -oh. Dick, dick, dick.